Hello and welcome to yet another of my videos. This time it's not a CD player, as it normally is. It's a Electro Company EW100 DMB. EW is for stands for amplifier and DMB is for dual mono balance. It's a fine amplifier with dumping factor going to thousand. Sounds like a valve thing, but has a slam. It's, it's extremely fast. It's better than microsecond rise time. Um, in my books, it's the best amplifier you can get for any money from any manufacturer. And I even wrote an article about it, but uh, I'll publish it and I'll send you, I'll post the link to it. So, um, what went wrong here? Um, I bought this NEC 4.5 preamp from Norway. Because because I could I have that's the third one I have and, and they're the best amps so I just keep getting them I have six systems so why not upgrade to the best but sadly and this is what I was worried about the power amps right channel didn't work on the rival and I bought it from a very nice man extremely well packed and he even had it serviced and you know it, it's it's in top condition I mean it looks brand new almost brand new and when you, when you look here there is sort of a layer of dust so nobody was opening it up too much it has been opened before once but but nothing major has been done so so what am I going to do uh, I, I was hoping that it will be output relay because they do go faulty and decay and, and intermittent and, and, and I've replaced them on mine after about 13 or 14 years I have, I have it for over 20 and to find out where I can get um, a voltage there, to, to, to get a signal, I looked up on my uh, diagram there. But before I could do it, I, I sort of I started with the visual inspection. And, uh, and wise people say, always start with that. And if you spend less than 20 minutes, it means you're going too fast and skipping on things. So get a magnifying glass and get a proper visual inspection. So what I found not to keep you in suspense too long, that, I don't know if you can see it, but the channel, uh, the right channel's um, negative wire in there, it's just not connected, broken off, you see? Totally broken off, must have been just a bit too short, being held on solder, and vibration on the way from Norway to Australia caused it to fall off. So I'm hoping that this is it, and, and really the purpose of this video is, if you don't know what to do, inspect it carefully, and uh, check every component, every joint, if you can. And uh, it's very often faster than a traditional troubleshooting. Well, that's it. Thank you very much, and till next time. Bye-bye.